While NASA remains silent, China has just changed everything. Between October 1st and 4th, 2025, China's Tianwen-1 probe orbiting Mars captured images of 3I Atlas, the interstellar visitor racing through our solar system. One image, taken on October 3rd from nearly 29 million kilometers away, stunned scientists. It revealed not just a glowing tail, but a sprawling coma thousands of kilometers wide. What Tianwen-1 saw wasn't just another comet. It was a question written across the universe, and no one has an answer yet. When the China National Space Administration announced the detection, it sent ripples through the global astronomy community. Their Tianwen-1 probe, quietly orbiting Mars since 2021, wasn't built for deep space comet chasing. It was a planetary surveyor designed to study Martian dunes and polar ice. Yet, in early October 2025, it turned its high-res, high-resolution camera away from the red planet and toward an unknown traveler, 3I Atlas, the third confirmed interstellar object ever detected. Capturing it wasn't simple. 3I Atlas was dim, fast and unpredictable. The probe's instruments were calibrated for bright surfaces, not faint light drifting against a star-filled backdrop. Every exposure had to be timed precisely, and engineers spent nights recalculating trajectories so the camera could track an object moving tens of kilometers per second. For four days, between October 1st and 4th, 2025, Tianwen-1 hunted the wanderer across the Martian sky. Then, on October 3rd, success came from roughly 28.96 million kilometers away. Hyhiric captured the clearest view ever of 3I Atlas. The image showed a compact, radiant nucleus surrounded by a coma stretching several thousand kilometers across. Even through the static and cosmic haze, something about the symmetry looked deliberate, almost sculpted. Scientists in Beijing called it a once-in-a-lifetime frame. To them, it wasn't just a comet. It was a living fragment of another solar system, frozen in motion, drifting past Mars like a messenger from time itself. The best uh, image was taken on October 2nd by the high-rise camera on board the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. And unfortunately, the argument is because of the government shutdown, this data was never released. The data stunned mission planners. No other spacecraft had ever photographed an interstellar object so closely from another planet's orbit. China had done what no other nation, not even NASA, had achieved. And the fact that these images arrived while NASA's own high-resolution files remained sealed only deepened the mystery. Behind the walls of NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, a quiet tension grew. While the agency maintained that the delay was caused by the government shutdown, insiders whispered a different story, that the high-rise images of 3I Atlas were unlike anything ever captured. Multiple leaks suggested the images showed structures or patterns within the comet's coma that could not be explained by natural outgassing. These weren't just streaks of gas and dust. There were shapes, faint but distinct, as if the object's surface wasn't jagged or uneven, like typical comets, but smooth and geometric. If true, that would mean 3I Atlas wasn't just an interstellar rock. It could be something constructed. That idea, once dismissed as science fiction, now seemed impossible to ignore. Even Harvard astrophysicist Dr. Avi Loeb, known for his study of Oumuamua, noted that 3I Atlas's behavior, its acceleration patterns, unusual reflectivity, and controlled motion, all hinted at a form of intelligent design. NASA's silence suddenly made sense to some. The agency has always walked a fine line between scientific discovery and public reassurance. If high-rise truly captured an interstellar object behaving unnaturally, releasing those images without full analysis could spark global panic or wild misinterpretations. And so, while the world watched China lead the narrative, NASA stayed silent, guarding the clearest, highest resolution look at 3I Atlas ever taken. Whether that silence was caution, fear, or something deeper, no one outside those closed doors truly knew. But one thing was clear, whatever high-rise captured that week in October 2025 had shaken the agency to its core. As the mystery surrounding 3I Atlas deepened, the world entered a new kind of space race, not for territory or technology, but for truth. China's bold move had shifted the balance, 
and now every major space agency was scrambling to analyze, respond, or regain control of the narrative. What was once a quiet scientific observation had become a full-scale geopolitical storm. Inside NASA, pressure was mounting. The high-rise images from the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter remained classified, stored behind multiple layers of internal review. Officials cited the government shutdown as the cause for the delay, but that excuse was beginning to crumble. Congressional hearings were being discussed behind closed doors. For the first time in modern space history, China, not the United States, became the main source of data about an interstellar object. The release of Tianwen-1's images on October 5, 2025, just days after 3i Atlas's close pass to Mars, sent shockwaves through the global scientific community. CNSA didn't just beat NASA to the punch, it redefined who held authority in the new era of space discovery. Tianwen-1, originally designed to study Mars, wasn't meant to photograph distant, dim, and fast-moving targets. Its Hyriac camera was built for bright planetary surfaces, not for deep space imaging. Yet, through precision engineering and rapid adaptation, Chinese scientists managed to focus on a tiny moving point of light traveling millions of kilometers away and capture it. The feat was hailed as impossible imaging, something no other active probe had ever accomplished. The released data showed 3i Atlas glowing with a structured halo, a dense coma several thousand kilometers wide. Some frames even appeared to reveal faint internal reflections, unusual bright patches that changed position between exposures. Whether these were caused by ice crystals, reflective minerals, or something else entirely, CNSA left the interpretation open-ended, simply labeling them spectral anomalies. Whatever the truth, the world was no longer waiting. Every telescope, every probe, every radar system capable of scanning deep space was now locked on the same target, 3i Atlas. It had become the most watched object in the sky, a silent visitor carrying answers no one fully understood. By early November 2025, the situation had escalated far beyond astronomy. What began as a scientific delay had now become a political storm in Washington. The release of China's 3i Atlas images, paired with NASA's silence, set off what some described as the first space transparency crisis in decades. It wasn't just scientists demanding answers anymore. It was lawmakers. On October 31, 2025, Congresswoman Anna Paulina Luna sent an official letter to NASA's acting administrator Shay Duffy, calling for the immediate public release of all data and images related to 3i Atlas. Her statement was clear and uncompromising. She accused the agency of withholding critical scientific information and questioned whether the delay was truly about the shutdown or if something far more deliberate was happening behind the scenes. The letter went viral overnight. News outlets framed it as a rare direct challenge to NASA's secrecy. For years, space policy had operated quietly under bipartisan respect. But now, 3i Atlas had pushed that piece to the edge. Congressional aides confirmed that private briefings were held with NASA officials. And though the contents weren't made public, multiple insiders hinted that the agency was not comfortable with what the images contained. Meanwhile, China's Tianwen-1 team continued releasing snippets of their own findings, high-resolution stills, brightness readings, and even spectrographic data from the captured frames. Each new piece added fuel to the fire. China looked confident, transparent, and prepared to lead the discussion on interstellar science. In contrast, NASA's silence felt defensive, almost fearful. The glow also behaved strangely when compared to known reflections. In one segment of the sequence, the inner halo brightened sharply, then faded again in perfect cycles, almost like a heartbeat. Some speculated this could be caused by rotation, but the rhythm didn't match the object's predicted spin rate. That meant the light was likely coming from localized emissions, not just reflected sunlight. NASA, still holding on to its unreleased high-rise images, offered no comment. But everyone knew that if those sharper US images existed, they could confirm or deny what Tianwen-1 had seen. Until then, the only clear evidence came from China, and that eerie, steady light coming from an object not meant to glow that way kept the mystery alive. At first, the numbers didn't seem real. The TN-1 probe orbiting Mars had captured its now famous 3i Atlas images from nearly 28.96 million kilometers away. 
a distance so vast it defied logic for a camera not designed for deep space photography. To put that into perspective, that's about 75 times the distance between Earth and the Moon. At that range, even a tiny miscalculation in focus or trajectory could mean missing the target entirely. The Hyriac camera aboard Tianwen-1 wasn't meant for this kind of work. It was engineered for bright Martian terrain, rocks, dunes and canyons, not for faint cosmic specks racing through the blackness. Yet, in early October 2025, the Chinese team repurposed it for one of the boldest imaging attempts in space exploration history. Using a series of manual corrections and long exposure sequences, they managed to lock onto 3i Atlas as it streaked through the solar system, traveling at tens of kilometers per second. What made it even more remarkable was the clarity of the data. Despite the enormous distance, the images showed not only the nucleus, but also the detailed coma structure, proof that the probe's stabilization and tracking system was operating with almost supernatural precision. Each pixel of that image represented millions of kilometers of space, and yet the details aligned perfectly. But what truly intrigued scientists was why Tianyuan-1's team had aimed at 3i Atlas in the first place. China's space agency had quietly tracked it for months, long before it became public news. That meant they knew exactly when and where to look, whether it was foresight, coincidence, or inside knowledge. One fact became clear. The clearest look humanity had ever gotten at an interstellar visitor came not from NASA, but from Beijing. And with that, the balance of discovery and secrecy had shifted. While it continues along its course to the next star, but after perihelion, this object has changed, it turned bluer, its trajectory shifted, and many amateur astronomers around the world began sharing closely similar clips. Right now, something is happening in our solar system that's sending scientists scrambling for explanations. The interstellar object NASA's been tracking, 3A Atlas, is roughly the size of Manhattan. When scientists sent the footage to Professor Jack Gilbert at the Scripps Institute of Oceanography, the microbiologist could hardly believe what he was seeing. That's a paramecium, he said, a single-celled organism normally seen under a microscope. A paramecium moves by waving thousands of tiny cilia, creating smooth, rippling motions that look almost choreographed. And now, a structure millions of kilometers across was moving in the exact same way. How could a living organism resemble an interstellar object? The first group argued that 3E Atlas might be a living organism, not a ship, not a rock, but a biological entity adapted for interstellar survival. They proposed that before its close pass to the sun, it shielded itself inside a metal-like cocoon, a protective exoscale capable of withstanding heat and radiation. Then, at perihelion, it opened that shell and absorbed solar energy to regenerate, feeding directly on stellar radiation. To them, this could explain why it appeared brighter and bluer afterward, because it was alive and actively producing energy. The second theory was even stranger. Other researchers suggested that 3E Atlas could be a hybrid, a fusion of technology and biology, an artificial craft with a living core, or a living organism enhanced with engineered propulsion. That, they argued, could explain why it emitted thrust-like jets after it began to look organic. Now, RV Loeb directly addressed those who still insist that 3E Atlas is just a comet. To make his point, he showed a comparison clip of Comet Nishimura, recorded on September 23, 2023. In that footage, Nishimura approaches the sun, and within seconds, its glowing tail fades away, stripped and vaporized by the intense solar plasma. The comet disintegrates, just as every known comet does when it ventures too close to the sun's corona. But 3I Atlas behaved nothing like that. When it reached perihelion, instead of disintegrating or even dimming, it appeared to resist the solar radiation completely. Loeb pointed out that its surface brightness actually increased. It became five times brighter and turned a deep electric blue, a hue associated with ionized plasma, not with ordinary reflection or ice sublimation. And rather than losing mass, 3I Atlas seemed to absorb energy from the sun, almost as if it were feeding on solar plasma itself. After perihelion, its luminosity intensified further, far beyond what thermal reflection or outgassing could explain. Loeb described this as evidence of an internal power source, something capable of surviving and even thriving within conditions hotter than 5,000 GoRays. 
hot enough to vaporize steel, titanium and rock, yet three that remained intact. And not only that, after perihelion, Dr. Loeb noted that three atlases' trajectory had changed in a way that could not be explained by gravity alone. The object appeared to deviate slightly from its predicted orbital path, suggesting that another force was at work, possibly internal propulsion or an artificial push. What's more concerning is that this new path brings it closer to Earth than originally calculated. Loeb warned that if 3 Atlas experiences another small shift while passing near Jupiter's gravitational field, its course could bend further inward. In that case, the interstellar object might not just pass by, it could arrive. According to current orbital calculations, 3 Atlas will make its closest approach to Earth on December 19, 2025, just six days before Christmas. At that point, it will still be 7 million kilometers away, close enough to observe, but not close enough to strike. However, scientists like Dr. Loeb have warned that even a small change in its trajectory could alter the outcome. If 308 Atlas were to be pulled off course, for example, during its interaction with Jupiter's gravity and collide with Earth, the impact would be catastrophic. An object of its estimated size could release energy equivalent to millions of nuclear bombs, wiping out entire regions, altering the atmosphere, and triggering global climate effects. Even without a direct impact, if it were an artificial or powered object, the implications of it entering near-Earth space would be unlike anything humanity has ever faced. So what do you think? Is 3 Atlas just a strange interstellar rock acting on its own, or something being guided, maybe even powered by technology we don't yet understand? And if its path really is shifting closer to Earth, should we be preparing for impact or for contact?